Hello folks and welcome back. Well I certainly hadn't planned on doing a video so quick but I had noticed today that Hike have brought out a lot of firmware updates. It might be worth having a look at the app on your phone and seeing if the equipment you've got listed is one of those items is updated. So first thing you want to do is get rid of all those opened apps on your phone. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and locate the Hike micro device that you've got. Now on this one, it's already saved in my phone, so I don't have to put the password in. The previous app uh, for the password was to change it. I haven't changed it on this. It's still the last letter and the numbers. Once you've logged on to that, select the item that you're going to update. On this case, it's my Alpex Mark II. Off it goes. So prior to that, you would obviously go on, stay on your Wi-Fi and hit that red light on the item that was listed and it would download the update to your phone. Obviously, with that update on the phone, the next time you connect to your device, you will be doing this. So I've speeded this up, but the rest of the process I'm going to keep in real time because sometimes you have to then redo that upgrade. Right, looking through the scope, not the best of pictures, I'm afraid, but what you need to do now is to go all the way down, I think it's four of five on the menu, to where it says restore. You must hit that restore button for the, in order for that update to take effect on your scope, whether it's a spotting scope, a rifle scope, or an Alpex, you know, it could be thermal, could be day and night. Hit the restore, that will then update your scope and it will shut itself off and restart. So this is as it is in real time, so I'm not going to speed it up so you can get an idea of how long to expect your scope to be off. So it's fired up again now, and what will happen, it will put your scope back to factory. So you've got to select your language. Obviously, we're in England, so I'm selecting English. Then you go through the menu, so right down to the bottom, select the menu, and then everything that you had switched on previously, so you might have had the audio on, you might have had the IR smart setting on there, you've got to go back through that menu and reselect everything you want. So you might want the audio on, you might want it off. That pre-record, select that if you want it on, if you don't, leave it. So just go through that whole menu and tick all the boxes that you want ticking. That one I'm going to have to go back and redo, the Smart IR. Once you've done that, all the way down, these are obviously whether you want the inclinometer on, if you've got a guessometer scope, uh, a lot of people tend to like that. If you want the logo on, select that. Keep going down the menu, keep going down. Time and date, if you want it on 24 hour, do that. Make sure the clock's right at the same time. Keep going down, keep going down. And there we go. That's the way to do it. If you've got any problems, email me with your phone number and I'll gladly talk about it. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck with it. And I'll see you any problems, let me know. Thanks very much. Cheerio.